Joshua chapter 2 verse 16 says, And she said to them, Go into the hills, or the pursuers will encounter you, and hide there three days until the pursuers have returned. Then afterward you may go your way. Now the pursuers here are the, are, are the king's men. They are the ones that the king sent to go find the spies, the spies that Rahab was hiding, the spies that were staying at Rahab's house, possibly an inn if she had one. Um, but what Rahab's doing here is she, she knows that these pursuers here, they are going this way. They are going to, as far as the Jordan River because Israel is on the other side. They know that. The nation of Israel is encamped on the other side at Shittim. Um, but what she tells the, the spies to do is to go into the hills. And so this, this could be that way or, or that way or, or another way. But, but the point is that she's telling them to go into the hills, another direction, a direction in which these pursuers are not going. So they're looking in the wrong direction. So the spies, they come out of her window by a rope, they climb down the wall, and then they go off in a direction that the pursuers are not chasing them in. And so thus, there's, there's no way that they can encounter them. This isn't going to happen. And so Rahab warns them, like, go into the hills or the pursuers will encounter you and hide there three days until the pursuers have returned. Basically, stay there for a you know, three days, whether that was significant or not, I'm not sure, but hide there for enough time until the pursuers realize that they've lost you, you've already crossed the Jordan, or at this point, they're, they're just not going to find you. So the pursuers are going to give up after about three days, and they're going to return to the city of Jericho. And so go into the hills or the pursuers will encounter you and hide there three days until the pursuers have returned. Then afterward, after that three-day period, after you have hidden for a while, then you may go your way. And remember, when you come back, save me and my family. Now, this three days here, whether that's significant or not, I'm not sure, but one thing you have to take into account is the fact that back in chapter one, chapter one, verses like 10 through... 12, basically, Joshua said to the people, go prepare yourself for within three days, we're going to cross the Jordan. Well, at the same time, he sent out the spies, not really expecting all of this now that we've seen in Joshua chapter two to take place in which the pursuers of Jericho are after them and they have to go into hiding. And so this adds another three days. So basically, what Joshua, Joshua did in, in chapter one here is he had a plan. Within three days, we're gonna go over and cross the Jordan, but there was a, a minor hiccup in the plan. These spies had to hide for their lives. They were saved thanks to Rahab here, but they had to hide. And so, you know, a, an important point here is that we should make plans. We should make plans but we should be flexible because that's, that's what Joshua had to do. Joshua had to wait for these spies to come back. He had to wait until really after, after that time allotment that he had given. And so now it's been, it's been a few days. And now in Joshua chapter two, at the end, beginning in Joshua chapter three, we, we're gonna see Israel actually cross the Jordan. But this is Joshua chapter two, verse 16. And she said to them, go into the hills or the pursuers will encounter you and hide there three days until the pursuers have returned. Then afterward, you may go your way. This is Joshua chapter two, verse 16.